wicked, 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 wicked. <sighs> Ezekiel chapter 13. I beg your pardon, brethren, I am feeling horribly today, but uh, my brother <laughs> sent me this. I, 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 all I had to do was watch 10 seconds of it. This lying, filthy, charismatic devil. I don't even know what this guy's name is. Um, I beg your pardon. Hey, good morning, family. How are y'all doing? Um, I have a hard word to give today. Oh, just shut up. Last days. This is uh, we. I've we have talked about this. Um, we have refuted this nonsense. A brother sent me. Now we're not. We're not going to right here. You look at his popular videos. Um, uh, it says right here. <laughs> Jesus took me <laughs> to the trip. Oh. Ezekiel 13, verses 1 on to verse 9. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Do whatever your name is, the Lord rebuke you, you lying filth. You lying, wicked devil. You have not seen the Lord Jesus Christ. You've seen something. I'll give you that. But you have not seen the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be videos in the description box refuting your lies and your heresy, you lying devil. Okay? The Lord rebuke you, Mr. Last Days. You have a hard word. You have nothing. You have nothing. You are a servant of your father, the devil, sir. The Lord rebuke you. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord God, verse 3 in Ezekiel 13. Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Now, I, I, I don't doubt that this individual has seen something, but he has not seen something from the Lord. There will be links in the description box for you where you can, where we go over all this stuff. And this stuff is popular. People want this kind of stuff. Here again is another example of someone not rightfully dividing the word of truth. This man is not saved. There's no way. And if he is, which he isn't, he's, he's in big trouble with the Lord. But he's very popular. He has 87,000 subscribers. When he, and of course, yeah, he's asking people for whatever. But let's continue. This man has seen nothing. Hey, pal, you're seeing me? I'm going to put your thing here because uh, you're a devil. You can go to hell. <clears throat> Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Uh, um, Cross-reference this with um, Song of Solomon, chapter 2. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel, to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have, been, they have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, the Lord saith, albeit I have not spoken. The Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, has not spoken to this guy. People, this guy is a liar. He is a devil. He is deceiving you, okay, this guy. I'm not doubting that he has seen something. He has not seen the Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, okay? He has not. 
if he has seen something, he has seen a devil. Or maybe even the devil himself. I kind of doubt that, but he has seen a devil. He has not seen the Lord. Okay, he has not. <clears throat> Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord God. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Ooh. Jeremiah. Excuse me. Like I said, I am feeling horribly today. I am feeling absolutely horrible today. Jeremiah 23, verses 21 on to verse 32. Just, this is just going to be a quick video, okay, refuting this imbecile. There will be links in the description box, okay, about this. Jeremiah 23, verses 21 on to verse 32. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. Yet they ran. They want to be at the forefront. They want to be number one, okay? <clears throat> I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. Am I a God at hand, said the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophets said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. This dude here is not a prophet. He is he's a false prophet, excuse me. He has seen nothing. Okay? He has seen nothing. Remember, people. Paul went to where the Lord was. He went up to the third heaven. And what did Paul say? He saw things that it was not lawful for man to utter. This guy is claiming that he saw the Lord face to face. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams which they tell every man to his neighbor. As their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal, the prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, Let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues and say, he saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at, people at all, saith the Lord. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think this guy's name is Brandon. Okay. This, this... See, like I've been warning you, warning you about, talking about. Stay away from guys like this. Just, just stay away from them, man. Oh, look at that. Well, what's that guy's name? Um, oh, I forget what this guy, charismatic devil. Oh, 
I can't remember. I can't remember. And oh, look at that. What? <laughs> this, this, is, this is repulsive. Whoops, excuse me. This is repulsive and disgusting. Stay away from this guy. Okay, my first live uh, playlists, whatever, pray with me, interviews, and what is his community? Oh, oh, great. Yeah, he's probably from Illinois. But anyway, just one. Hey, shut good morning, family. Up. Shut up. The Lord rebuke you, dude. You have seen nothing, and you are guiding people on to hell. You are not an Old Testament prophet. Okay, you have seen nothing. Well, actually, okay, you have seen something, but you haven't seen anything from the Lord Jesus Christ, God, who is our Father. You know what you have seen. Let me sh let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay, let me warn all of you again. Okay, Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verses thirteen on to verse fifteen. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the, apostle, into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. That's going to be it for this video. Please, please, people, stay away from guys like this. Thank you very much for watching.